Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with MusicTeacher.com and in this video we're going to be learning how to dial in a classic rock style guitar tone using just the Black Star Amp 2. So all the tones you're hearing in this video are coming from the Amp 2 and this Chapman Guitars ML3 Pro X. The Amp 2 is going straight out of the cab sim output straight into my audio interface. So I'm using a built-in simulation of a 4x12 cap for this. So this classic rock inspired tone we're going to look at in today's video can be used as a template for you to tweak and develop your own classic rock style sounds. This is a generic classic rock sound that I've based off a couple of different classic rock influences. So the first thing, and probably the most important thing, is getting a great amp sound. So classic rock is predominantly played through 60s and 70s British voiced amps. So for this, I've used the EL34 response and the UK voice on the amplifier section. I've got the gain at about one o'clock. The bass I've rolled back to about 10 o'clock, but you can set that to taste. And I've pushed the mids and I've pushed the treble. Now, typically classic rock is a very mid and treble driven genre of music when it comes to guitar tone. You don't tend to want too much clattering around in the low end because we are going to be playing a lot of big ringing open chords. So keeping that bass in check just helps us retain that clarity. So here's how the amplifier circuit sounds with just a little bit of room reverb added for good measure. <laughs> With the amp set this way you get a very typical classic rock voiced overdrive sound. It's got enough gain to be considered overdriven and crunchy but there's not too much gain there that we lose definition in the chords. This also works great with single call pickups. <laughs> Classic rock predominantly is not a high gain genre of music, so you don't want to push your amp into very high levels of saturation. If you need an extra kick, you can use the drive circuit, which I've currently got set to a boost. Now you can see I've got the drive here only a quarter of the way up, the tone is at two o'clock, and the level is just between two and three o'clock for a bit of a level lift. You can also use the overdrive circuit in this as well if you want a little bit of extra gain, but I think those classic rock tones sound great when they're boosted. If you're playing some leads with the drive circuit giving you a little bit of a boost, you can also add a very low set analog delay. So I'm using pretty much everything here set to just above nine o'clock. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a very, very short slap. Very, very quick there. There's not much delay going on, but what that will do is inside a lead guitar part, it will just thicken up what I'm playing. So here's how it sounds without and then with. <laughs> classic rock days people often used tape machines like an echoplex to add a bit of a slap back to their lead guitar sounds so that's a great way to get in that kind of ballpark you can also add some modulation to your cleaner slightly overdriven sounds by using a phaser that is set with a slower speed and a high depth 
this will give you some of those Henriksy star clean tones. <laughs> That's great when you want to add some movement to any of your single coil lines. And then finally, you could just put all those things together and create some really cool sounds. So you could be playing your riff with your basic amplifier channel, you could kick it up a step with a the boost, then add your delay for some slapback as you go into your solo, and then if you really want to take off, add that phaser to the mix and let things go crazy. <laughs> some tips on how to start dialing in a classic rock tone on your Blackstar Amped 2. As I said earlier on in the video, you can use this as a jumping off point to design your own classic rock voice with the Amped 2. Let me know down below in the comments how you got on with this, and if there's any other genres or even artists you'd like to see us get the tones of with the Amp 2, please throw them down below in the comments as well. Don't forget to check out Blackstar Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please head over to musicteacher.com and check out the network of great music teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon.